sir. Okay. With an accident one year ago. Uh, and then I had multiple facial bone fractures. So I didn't get any treatment for that. So later I got to know about Dr. Richardson and YouTube. And then I contacted doctor. So he's very confident that he can, you know, perform the surgery and then make me look like normal like before and then give me a symmetrical face. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping uh, so that I will be successful and then I can be back to my So hi, we are about to do a um, few procedures on this gentleman, right? He's also a physician. So we're going to do a rhinoplasty for him. He had an accident some years ago which has caused a scar, some asymmetry on the face. Typically on this side of the face, the bones have come out and the volume of the orbit has increased. So we're going to get this part of the cheek similar to that. He's got some puffiness. I'm going to take that in. The vertical height of the lower third of the face, we're going to increase a little bit of the sculpting as well. He has a history of trauma as well and then once we finish this we are also going to do buckle pad fat removal and then change over his anesthesia tube from nasal to oral and then eventually finish up with rhinoplasty. So we expose this chin we're doing an advancement genioplasty. You can see how the chin like kind of has two horns. So we're gonna make it a little bit broad for him. He's a guy in his 20s. You can see the two mental nerve nice and free. Mark the design for the genioplasty now. This is going to be an extended sliding, both horizontal and vertical advancement genioplasty. sustained a fracture some years ago. I'm going to show you the way the bone has healed there. You can see a small fracture line that's healed. So it's, there's this fracture line in the buttress also. Um, so we're going to expose all of this and contour the cheek so that partly bony, also partly soft tissue. Okay, I'm, going to, I'm going to reach all the way the mala bones. Yeah, I can hold on to the head. Literally shaping the bone, the lower border of the eyes. That's around the nerve and the tracking. Now I'm moving laterally. So this is the cheekbone and the zygoma fat pad. Also done a septal harvest. You can see some of the pieces here. One big piece and a couple of small pieces. And this is a septal. The approach for the septal harvest. Now after this, I we'll have to do a osteotomy some dorsal work and then eventually tip plasty and close up. Mm -hmm. 
So we've just finished with this cosmetic, atraumatic, so-called closed rhinoplasty, tipplasty, dorsal work, dorsal augmentation, osteotomies, septoplasty, septal harvest, and all done, closed approach. So this was how he was, closed rhinoplasty, tipplasty, dorsal work, osteotomy, and this is part of the face mako that we've done for him. I've done right side cheek contouring, asymmetric correction, genioplasty, the jaw sculpting, and bilateral buckle pack patch removal. Are you having any pain now? Very little. Where exactly is the pain? On the nose, very minimal pain. That's all. So this is just three, four hours now after we finish the major face makeover. And we've done surgeries on the chin, angle, upper jaw, the four one, rhinoplasty, many things. Yeah. Yeah. This, like I said, pain will be a usual big concern because we keep giving you pain medications, you know. But your nose is blocked. So that will be a little bit of a thing, huh? we'll get used to breathing through the mouth for a few days. After two or three days, we'll uh, take it off. And if possible, sleep straight. Avoid sleeping on the sides for the first few days. Tonight, it will be here. Tomorrow, we'll shift you back to the Sure. Then we'll give you all the food. It's a smooth day. Or lots of water. All kinds of food. Done. Everything done. Welcome, take care. Close your mouth. Okay. So we, this is day three. We're doing a checkup and just some dressing for him. Uh, we've done work on his lower jaw, done work on the upper jaw, nose. This is to make sure he doesn't have much swelling. I'm not going to take it off today. We also got a nasal pack. I'm going to wait with this for one more day. And tomorrow, we're going to take off the internal nasal splint. Let these dinoplasts, the stretch classes be there for a couple more days. And then we take them out and then we begin to leave. How uh, are you doing? Uh, take one week. 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 Take one so, today is your Monday. Monday. Thursday. 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 More better with time. And maybe about four to six weeks, you will be able to feel everything is in nice shape. Uh, maybe a usual patient. You don't have to come again. Nothing needed. You'll be fine. You'll let you know. Nothing. Once you leave after a week, you don't have to come again. That's it. Forever. Forever, yeah.